Alright guys, what is going on? Kamusta kayong lahat dyan guys? So today we are gonna be doing a live commentary. So basically we're gonna watch the gameplay together. And I'm gonna, I'm going to break it down and give you a little tips on the side. Uh, kind of the position we're gonna be doing. Uh, kind of guns and uh, different stuff. So let's watch it together. I'm gonna give you tips like I said. Sit back and enjoy. So first things first, sa una lahat, um... When you're doing a drop, you should already know what kind of guns do you want to use and uh, you should already know in your head the, the loots that you want to use or you want to pick it, pick up. So right now there's no enemies so there's no point to be doing any rush uh, or rushing and thing like that. So see what I'm doing here. I already know what to pick up. I'm just... It's kind of like an auto... I'm not... I don't have auto loot but I already know like I said in my head. Uh, what I'm going to pick up. It's a little bit different. Oh, at this point, I heard a footstep there. Okay, just about. So, like I said, every uh, hot drop or we're doing a drop on any any place. It's gonna be a different situation. Sometimes there will be enemies there already <clears throat> with you looting. So what I do is just pick up a gun, helmet, vest, or whatever, and then start pushing. But at this point, like there's there's no enemy, so you can just pick up anything. So Alright, so the first tip, like I said, is it's just you should already know what to pick up. You know, when you're playing in Sunhawk, you should already know the guns in your head and what kind of <clears throat> what kind of guns you want to use. So I heard the gunshots here earlier, so what I'm trying to do is try to be sneaky or the ninja style. You don't want to be running around then. Of course everybody knows this use the wall look around no matter how far is the enemy or whatever they are if you don't know where they are you should just stop and look around that's all it's not camping it's basically just watching the environment i also do this kind of techniques i jump around look around so Right now we're just going into Paradise Resort Re Resort Paradise Resort I heard the gunshots there When you hear the gunshots First thing you should always think uh, Just look at the radar Look at the map straight away Ganun uh, Pag may natin kayong gunshots Check nyo kagad yung map or yung radar So I know there's enemies on my left side But there's probably around 150 meters to 200 meters away But I'm looking around on this place because um, I don't know there could be enemies here. Okay, footstep there. One below. So, see what's happened there is the enemies didn't know I was there. So, like I said, always look around. Don't just run around and then lie down or just run around like a duck or like a headless chicken. So, they asked me, How do you always see the enemies? What I do is, as you can see there, I, I'm always doing left and right, left and right. That's what I use to find the Thank enemies. You. I got See, supplies. Gunshots there. I'm looking at the radar, the map. Enemies ahead. So I already know where the enemies are, where the fights is happening right now. So what you do is just get close to them. Oh, 
Okay, so obviously I missed the shot, so what I'm going to do is rotate, go up to the high ground, and get close to them. Okay, footstep. One footstep to Neo. Another footstep. Two enemies. See, the enemy uh, didn't expect me there. Okay, see what I did there? I knocked him and then killed him and then went straight behind the rock because I know there's another enemy on uh, above me. Enemies ahead! So there's one more enemy. We heard the first footstep earlier, but it's not moving, so we already know he is proning right now. So what I'm gonna do is just rotate. There he is. He didn't again. He didn't expect us to turn on the left and then jump. Uh, that's why every time you hear enemies and then they just you know try to prone or whatever just rotate no matter what always change I your got position supplies. ganun lagi pag di nyo kaya yung kalaban atras rotate ganun lang so when you hear gunshots always look at the radar again or the map or whatever Listen to footsteps when you're close to the to the fighting scene or whatever. What happened there? Okay, see what happened there? I missed my shots, but I changed really quick to my other gun. Always have a second that again. See, there's another enemy there. I saw that, but I lost him. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. If you're just whatever you're doing, always look around. Have have eyes everywhere, basically. So if you're getting pushed. You have two guns, and then you already use the first Wait. one. Switch really quick to the second one. Okay, guys. At this point, you should already know the sidestep or bunny bunny jump or bu bunny hop, um, so you can climb the hill a, a lot faster. all right so this next step is pretty simple you know if you're you're in a very last circle and you want to get the airdrop you should just smoke it you never know there's always someone camping proning Alright, so see what happened there. What I did was just basically follow the enemy's movement and then did some pre-fire and that's how I was able to kill him. At this point I know it's gonna be a crazy gameplay uh, because I have the Groza. The Groza is always like the best for pushing or for rushing gameplay. Um, so right now I'm hearing some gunshots up on the hill. Again, watch the radar, watch the map, so you know exactly where they are. Put the brightness on 80%, 85, so you can see a lot better from far away. You can see what's happening here, guys. I heard some gunshots. I couldn't see him properly, but I had a little bit of glimpse. I saw the... I was hitting enemies with my crosshair, so... 
So now how to push or when to push? Enemies ahead. Watch this. Okay, so I started pushing when I heard the gunshots. It means uh, the enemies are busy fighting the other enemies, so I just started pushing. So the my teammates are saying that I have some kind of um, not magic, but uh, because I already know where's the enemy. Enemies ahead. That's just a box. <laughs> Okay, do not. I mean, all kills. So what happened there is I turned on my mic and then I lost the sound of the game. So I'm just gonna do a commentary what is happening. So as you can see what I did there, um, I used the bunny hop technique to go up on the hill really quick, a lot faster. Then I was able to get behind the enemies and get the kills. At this point, the enemies are started to prone. It's very usual. Okay, so what I'm doing there just now is I'm just pushing a lot because I know I have the Groza. And again, as you can see, a lot of people have been asking me how you move so fast or how, how, how are you moving that quick or this quick. I'm just boosting all the time. I'm using the painkiller, um, energy drink, even though I already have the full bar or half bar. I'm still using it no matter what. That's how you get not too fast but you get a little bit of boost with those things and uh, maybe you get shot or low HP you get to heal a lot faster too so uh, what I'm just doing here is just doing pick and shoot pick and shoot gonna lang pick and shoot pag din yung kalaban pick and see the enemy so I saw on the right side the enemy started smoking so what I'm doing is I'm just going around and listen to this guys this is one of the best tip I can give you right now Okay, so the enemy started smoking and my teammate started proning or snaking and that is a bad idea. Why? Because the enemy put the smoke there so he would already know where you're gonna come out, you know, or he's already expecting you to prone or go on the side of the smoke and he's already he's ready waiting for you and that is a bad idea. Look what happened to my teammate. He got knocked down because the enemy knows already where you're gonna come out. So what I did there is I went up on the top of the rock and I was able to see the enemy from above. So guys, the best tip basically is become unpredictable. Okay? Um uh, tag dito. Um yeah, maging okay yung kasi inexpect na kay lagi ng kalaban lagi. Kung saan kay lalabas, so dapat alam niya kung saan kay lalabas so kung ano mga gagawin niyo, become unpredictable din yeah, nga. Maging <laughs> unpredictable talaga kay lagi. So para hindi kayo ma-expect ng kalaban. So that's that's one of my best tips that I can give you guys. Become unpredictable in every situation. Just put yourself there and think what you're gonna do first. Don't just uh, do it. Don't just start proning and you know start panicking. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you learned something. I'm, I'm pretty sure you, some of you already know this, but for some of you that don't know, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I'll see you again in the next one. See you tomorrow for the so to find out who's gonna be the winner of my giveaways. There's gonna be two winners. May dalawang mananalo sa giveaway natin tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys.